For the Cold War superpowers, the submarine had become the perfect nuclear missile platform. You could hide dozens of intercontinental ballistic missiles under the sea, anywhere around the globe, without being detected. But these missiles are huge, so the machine that carries them has to be pretty big too. In fact, it has to be massive. HMS Vigilant is one of Britain's four nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, or bombers, as they're called, and she is truly enormous. She's 150 metres long and weighs in at an immense 16,000 tonnes. With four decks, more electronics than the space shuttle and no windows, the Vigilant is one serious piece of kit. So just how do you hide something this big? The entire submarine is covered with these tiles. But they're not just any old tiles, they're what's known as anechoic tiles, which basically means they absorb sound. So, no use trying to find Vigilant using sonar. And inside the submarine, every piece of equipment, from the power plant to door latches, is designed to operate as quietly as possible. But the real key to this submarine's stealth is its ability to remain submerged for literally months at a time. And it can do that by providing its 134 crew with a life support system fit for a spacecraft. Behind this door is the key to everything. I'm not actually going back there because it's classified. The rear of the boat is in fact off limits to me. But what I can tell you is that back there is a very powerful nuclear reactor, which incidentally is about the size of a dustbin. Thanks to the massive amount of power available from the nuclear reactor, nuclear submarines can use electricity to generate oxygen from water. These are the sub's gills. Oxygen is generated by a process known as electrolysis. Water is pumped into these machines, the electrolyzers, electric current is passed through the water, the resulting oxygen is collected, and hydrogen is pumped out to sea. Ah, one of my favorite school experiments. One battery, some wire, and two pencils to be your electrodes. Now the positive electrode, the yellow pencil, is producing oxygen. You can just see on the negative electrode, the hydrogen, is producing twice as many bubbles as we have oxygen. Collect the gas from the positive electrode, and hey presto, you've got yourself some oxygen. HMS Vigilance electrolyzers do exactly the same thing on a massive scale. Another of life's essentials is water. A submarine is surrounded by it, but you can't drink it, it's a bit salty. Again, with a powerful nuclear reactor at your disposal, the solution is simple. As this salt water boils, the steam produced condenses and produces fresh water. I will condense it and let the fresh water drop into that glass. Look at that. Right. Let's see uh, what kind of water we've produced. Should be fresh water. Not a great deal of water produced, but um, I think you know what I mean. I'm tasting that water, not a trace of salt in it. Absolutely superb experiment. So power is the key to limitless life support. In fact, running out of food is the only limiting factor on how long this submarine can stay submerged. Otherwise, this machine could circumnavigate the globe for years without surfacing. Nuclear power brings speed too. HMS Vigilant can manage an impressive 25 knots when submerged, as fast as any enemy ship, and streets ahead of her diesel-electric predecessors. At that speed, you need some pretty hefty control services. I could actually park my Land Rover on one of those. But running away is the last resort. Secrecy is the preferred defense. When HMS Vigilant is on patrol, only the captain, executive officer, and navigator know where the submarine is really going. The ship's crew are kept on a strictly need-to-know basis. Diving now, diving now. Open four, five, and six main vents. Open four, five, and six. Once the order to dive is given, the submarine won't be seen for months. She could be in any ocean on the planet, with no sign of her presence. This is the navigator's position, and I'm doing something which is rather top secret and navigatorial. So shoo. These submarine crews take their mission to remain hidden very seriously. They are the guardians of a deadly arsenal of massive Trident missiles. Each is 13 meters high and carries warheads capable of wiping out an entire city. These missiles have to be maintained around the clock, 
ready to fire. This submarine exists for only one reason, to maintain global peace, and that's a deadly serious job. Although no one would ever want to do it, when at sea, every member of the crew has to be prepared for a launch command, to press the button to launch the missiles she carries. And that's the reason why this submarine has to remain hidden day in and day out. Nuclear submarines are the first true submarines, massive underwater machines truly independent of the surface. The perfect 